안녕하세요 준입니다. 상식을 뛰어넘는 제품이 나왔습니다. 자동차에 실는 일체형 드론인데요. 한번 보실까요? 안녕하세요. And okay. you could drive anywhere and then deploy the drone. Okay. So in that way, uh, it's more like a recreational vehicle where if you want to go to the mountain, go to the desert, and then you will have a drone that you could fly to enjoy the scenery. Okay, that's cool. So the idea is more about introducing flying to more people. So this mm. product will be on the market in 2026 in China. 2026 in China? And the price is around $300,000. $300,000? US dollars. US dollars? Oh, it's, a, yeah. it's pretty. I think it's a pretty reasonable. Yeah, yeah. it is. The is it including and the drone together. and car together? Yes. Wow. They only come as a combination. Okay, I right. see. So, okay. so the idea is that this drone only really works with the car because it carries it to all the places. And you see now it's folded up. Okay. But if you look at the video over there, the drone can come out by itself. Oh, by itself? Yeah. So they work in congestion. Okay. Oh, and it's the, cool. And the other thing mm -hmm. is that the car actually charges the drone. Oh. So it's like an AirPods. You wow. Know how you take the AirPod mm -hmm. out, you listen to, to music, and you yeah, put yeah, it back yeah. and it charges. It's the same idea. Oh. So you drive the car out, you take the drone out, mm -hmm. and then you fly it, and when you charge it, you park it back in the car. Okay, Maybe cool. you drive somewhere else, and mm -hmm. you fly it again. Wow, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I know. Why the death drones? So the Blanche, drone, yeah. we don't have an exact number mm -hmm. right now. So I guess um, just follow our website. Okay, I, I'm sure I'm we're going to have that. This is very, very soon. Uh, okay. um, but because it's rechargeable with the car, mm -hmm. so in a sense, oh, okay. you have unlimited range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, during the uh, during the driving, it, it's, uh, it's going to be charging by itself. So, exactly. Uh, how long does it take uh, deploying the drones from the cars? Just a couple minutes. A couple minutes? Mm -hmm. How about yeah. the put it back to the car? Just a couple minutes. Just a couple it's, minutes? It's, oh, it's very pretty similar good. process. Mm -hmm. How about the... Yeah, the, right. I understand. I can understand the, 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 pretty, I mean the deploying the drone from uh -huh. the car. Yeah. But the, how about the put it back to the drone? Because it... It is automatically still. Just uh, push the, some button. That's yeah, it? so you push the button, and then mm -hmm. so the drone stays there. Mm -hmm. The car will back into it. Okay, yeah. drone just stand it, and the car is a uh, get back, and uh, everything is become automatically put in exactly. the car. Yeah. Wow. Okay. If you take a look, you see all the propellers, the arms, and the mm -hmm. legs. They're all retractable. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what happens is mm -hmm. when the vehicle is here, it will back up, and then the leg. Like once the drone is landed in the car with the oh, it's feet, the end of the, the end, the of, end the of the yeah. drone, yeah. The first uh, set of leg it will fold back up. Okay, it's cool. And then you will roll the drone back in the car, mm -hmm. and then the other set of legs will fold up, and then eventually mm -hmm. it's gonna be in the car. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I never seen before that. You said the 2026 you have planned to commercialize in. China, right? Well, it's gonna roll out in 26. So we're already 26. taking pre orders now. So this one is actually a working prototype. Okay, wow, it's real. It's real, yeah, uh -huh. it's real. And also, how about the global, global entry? How do you think about it? Uh, that? that, we're still not sure yet. Yeah, because of yeah. the yeah, so many different yeah, regulations. Right. How about the China? I always, I always wonder about the China. In the South Korea, actually, we don't have, so far, we don't have some kind of regulation about the UAM and the, especially in drones. So, there, is there, uh, you guys have some regulations in China? Well, I mean the law, law thing, yeah, you know what I'm saying? 
Well, personally speaking, mm -hmm. I don't think I'm not going uh, okay, to tell you all see. about it, mm -hmm. but I'm sure we'll have more information on the website. Do you have a, like a flight plan set before takeoff, or can you just fly anywhere? Well, I mean, it's only place where you could fly legally. Oh, I see, I see. It's not like you can just park by the road and you just fly. Gotcha. gotcha. Right. So let's say if I want to go from Portland to Seattle, and I park my car in Portland, does it have to be another car in Seattle to, to back out and put the drone back to the machine to charge? Or where um, can I charge the drone in Seattle if I land in Seattle? Well, this is the case where we don't really see this vehicle being used as. Oh, so point A to point A, not point A to point, point, point B. Point A. That's why you park the van, you deploy the drone, and you do whatever you want to do with the drone, and you have to park it back in the car. Back in the car. Back in the car and then drive out of the car. You can't like, charge it anywhere else but the car. No, really well. Because the idea right now is that we want it to be a product. And because we're launching 2026, and we don't think at that point there's going to be areas you can fly freely, you can go everywhere. No restrictions are possible. Right. So it's more like you will carry the aircraft to a place where you can actually fly. fly. And then you fly there, and after the flight, you take it with the car back to the I see, I see. Pleasure. Right. Nice, nice. But obviously we will hope that in the future, when there's more relation coming up, or you know things change, there will be different products that will launch that would do exactly what you said, which I think will be awesome. It will be, will be yeah. crazy. Yeah, you can have charge multiple places, multiple hubs. Exactly, yeah. But Drive that's the future. Thank you. Sorry, didn't mean to. Oh, no, no problem. It's, it's, you, you got very yeah, 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 it's a meaningful question. Yeah. <laughs> do you need a pilot's license? Yes, you do. Oh, well, even though it's autonomous, you still need to be able to take control if they require attention. Class license. Oh. Um, that you probably have to refer to our website. Yeah, because I'm sure it's gonna be different from country to country. I don't know about the China's uh, airspace or something like that. Is it possible to the drone or the airplane can fly uh, over the city right now? Um, right now, I think there's only certain areas. Certain areas where you can fly. Uh, okay. Yeah. And also, I have one more question. Uh, do you, in China, uh, you guys have uh, some kind of air taxi right now? Is it commercialized? Air taxi right now uh, is operated. I'm not too sure. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. I think that's my all of my question. Yeah, okay. it's done. Thank you so much, sir. No Thank you for your time. You. Yeah, of great course. to meet you. Yeah, okay. I'm glad. 영상 재미있게 보셨나요? 구독과 좋아요는 영상 제작에 큰 힘이 됩니다. 다음 영상에서 만나요.